What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, nearly three years ago, I demonstrated how to play patient games on your Android device. Now, recently, I watched that clip and I realized that a lot of information is now out of date. And I was also too busy laughing at my 15 year old quirky personality. So, here I am again to show you how to play patient games on your Android device. Believe it or not, it's really easy to do and works with most PlayStation 1 games. Now, to do this, we're going to be using an app called FPSE, which is a paid app, but it's totally worth it. Now, before we begin, what you're going to need is a PlayStation game that you're going to want to play. Now, the easiest way to find one is to search Google for PSX ROMs, and you'll find it easily there. And that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Alright, step one. After you download your PlayStation ROM file, what you want to do is transfer it to your Android device. Now, before you do so, make sure it's not in the zip archive or 7Z folder. If it is, extract it, and if it's in the 7Z folder, use 7-Zip to extract it. After you extract it, you should have your game right here in the folder. What we want to do is copy and paste the game to anywhere on your Android device. So I'm just going to copy, and I'm going to move it to my Android device. I created a folder on my internal storage called PlayStation ROMs, and I'm going to put it in that folder. But of course, you can put it anywhere that you like. Alright, step 2. Now we need to download the PlayStation BIOS file. Now to do this, we're going to use an app called Any Emulator BIOS. It's available free within the Google Play Store. Now what's great about this app is that it can provide a BIOS for just about any emulator that you could possibly think of. So opening up, what we're going to do is go into the Select Console, make sure PlayStation 1 BIOS is selected. You can save it to anywhere you want to, I'm just going to keep the default location on my SD card, and go to Generate BIOS Files. And it's going to download and save the BIOS to wherever location that you selected. Alright, step 3. Download FPSE from the Google Play Store. Now, FPSE is available for $3.69, but it's totally worth it. It's a thousand times better than PSX for Droid, which I used in my first video, and it's just amazing. So, make sure you buy this and uh, download it from the Google Play Store. Open it up. Going through an installation. And yes, accept these terms. So, we're going to go with the easy menu. Let's auto scan our SD card. Okay, great, and it found our Crash Bandicoot game that we transferred over earlier. Let's go into the settings. Let's go to Load BIOS. And let's navigate to that BIOS file that the app downloaded earlier. So let's go to Up, Internal Storage, and the app downloaded the BIOS to the PlayStation 1 BIOS, the um, BIOS downloader. So choose that, and choose this file, which is your BIOS file. After BIOS loaded, let's go, select the game, to load. And here we are, booting up Crash Bandicoot. And here we are, we're actually in Crash Bandicoot right now. And I gotta say, the performance is very smooth. I mean, it's extremely smooth, the performance right now. There's no lag whatsoever. Oh, gosh, I don't remember how to play this. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. So like I said, the performance is very smooth. Um, there is no lag whatsoever. And I mean, it's just this is just great, honestly. It's very playable and like, stop falling. But it's very playable and um, it's very enjoyable here. The controls really aren't bad to use digital controls on here. But bonus points, if you do have an external controller, you can use a app such as six axis and hook it up and make use of that. Um, and going into settings here, just to show you, we do have a lot of settings we can change. As far as videos, if you are having problems with um, uh, gameplay or whatnot, there are different settings which you can enable or, or disable to hopefully help, like for example, hardware acceleration. And I died again. <laughs> All right, guys. So this has been how to play PlayStation games on your Android device. Like I said, it's really easy to do. It works very well, it's very fluid, and it's a little nostalgic playing all these old games I used to play. Um, it's really a great experience. I highly suggest that you download it yourself, buy FPSE, it's a great app, and just have fun and try it. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more Gun Nights and videos. Thanks.